A. Able to discern the will of God in good times or bad times. T. Thanks for all the joy and trials of life. H. Happy no matter what life brings. E. Enthusiastic about a life filled with purpose. R. Righteous, rock solid in heart and mind from a growing relationship with God and Jesus. For these things and so many more, we praise God for our fathers and this Father's Day always. Hello everyone. Today we will be looking briefly at the life of Job. But before we begin, here is Sister Adiola with some of his strengths and weaknesses. Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'll be looking briefly at the strengths, accomplishments, and just a few weaknesses and one key lesson that, that I've learned from Job. Some strengths and accomplishments were he was a faithful and a patient man. He knew how to endure he was very wealthy. He was a man of integrity. He was blameless and upright. Some weaknesses and mistakes made by Job were he allowed his desire to understand why he was suffering to overwhelm him and that made him question God. One key lesson that I've learned from Job was that he was a man that modeled faithfulness in suffering. Or in other words, Job did not look to any other God. Job was faithful. Job endured throughout his entire trial. He didn't seek evil or any other thing. He only looked to God. Thank you, Adiola. Can we turn with me now to the book of Job? We will be reading from chapter 2. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and a bright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? And still he holds fast to his integrity, although you incite me against him to destroy him without cause. May the Lord bless the reading of his work. And following up on that scripture, the topic that we will be discussing today is how to be a man that Christ can boast in. The reason we've chosen that topic, aside from the fact that it is Father's Day today, is because when we look at how God spoke of Job to the devil, he spoke of him in such high regard. And given some of the challenges that Job would have experienced in his life when given some of his weaknesses that Sister Adela would have discussed. We can all see that Job was not a perfect person, but yet he so pleased the Lord that the Lord was willing to boast about him in the heavenlies. So as we move on, I will be addressing five areas in which God boasted in Job. So as we move along, I trust that we can learn something from his life and model his actions in our daily lives also. Point number one, Job was blameless. To be blameless means innocent of wrongdoing. If we look in chapter one of the book of Job, we saw that Job would often make burnt sacrifices unto the Lord on behalf of his children, just in the event that they might have sinned. He displayed uprightness and integrity, which is our second and third point. He was an honest man and displayed integrity in principle and in practice. Integrity being our third point, this is defined as having strong moral practices. In chapter 1 of Job, we saw that when Job got the news that his children had perished along with many of his possessions, he fell on his face and he worshipped God. In spite of of the challenges that he was faced with. In spite of his grief, he still chose to maintain his confidence in Jesus. Now, brothers and sisters, I believe that it is truly important for us to hold on to the arms of Christ in spite of the situation. Point number four, he feared the Lord. 
The fear of the Lord can be defined as a reverence or a respect. The Bible dictionary defines this as a just esteem of God's perfection, which produces in us an inclination to his service and an unwillingness to offend him. And this was demonstrated many times in Job's actions. Like I indicated earlier, he was not a perfect man. So there were times when he had wished he wasn't born because what he was enduring seemed too much for him to bear. But in spite of this, on numerous occasions, the Bible stated that Job did not sin with his lips because his desire was above all else to please the Almighty. Therefore, if we truly reverence the Lord, if our respect and our love for our Savior is great, then our heart's desire would be to please God in all our ways. Point number five, he shunned evil. This means to persistently avoid, reject, or ignore evil. To shun evil persistently means continuing firmly in our stance against wrongdoing and over a prolonged period of time. When we are faced with situations that are contrary to the will of God, sometimes we might feel strong in that day and it is easier for us to overcome. But we need to be reminded that our help comes from the Lord, that He is our strength even in times of our weakness. So it is not for us to lean on our own strengths or on our, or on our own abilities to get us through a situation but trusting God to strengthen us so that we can overcome anything that we might be faced with. He said he will not give to us more than which we are able to bear. And as long as we believe his word is true and sure, we have nothing to fear. So just to recap, Job was blameless. He displayed uprightness. He had integrity. He reverenced the Lord and he distanced himself from every form of evil. Now by applying these things to our life, not only will we please God, but we will be well on our way to living the kind of life that God has called us to. On this Father's Day, my encouragement to you men of God is to trust the Lord with everything that concerns you. As the man, you are required to be the head of the home and the priest of the home. And at times that can seem like a very heavy burden to bear. But my encouragement to you today is place every care in the arms of the Savior who is more than able to do exceedingly and abundantly above that which we could ever ask or think. Remember 1 Corinthians 13, 11, which says, But I want you to know that the head of every man is Christ, the head of every woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Therefore, men, you are called to be the head of your home and the priest of your family. So it is important that you commit all of your ways, all of your plans for your family, for your children to the Lord, so that he can direct your path and so that he can bless it and cause it to prosper. Proverbs 16 and verse 3 says, Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. And we believe this is true. Amen. Proverbs verse 3 and 6 says, In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Now God is not a man that he should lie. God loves us and his thoughts towards us are good. So my encouragement to you today, men of God, is to put your confidence in the one who can do the impossible. I believe that as we apply these principles to our lives, as we walk in uprightness of heart, as we give reverence unto the Lord, that which is due unto his name, as we walk in humility and we are honest in all our dealing, when our life so pleases the Lord, he will take care of us and He will grant us the desires of our heart. The Lord bless you. Thank you for listening and happy Father.
kids, no? Yes, it's home. Here. Did you forget it's sugar model going on? No, I forget it, Ryan. We made all Marcy bar the sugar again. She again? Yes. Sugar? Yes. You can't buy some sugar? Just so she didn't have none of she want to make some tea. So I, I I shame to give she to take uh Ryan, I shame to give she a spoon of sugar. I just get she the to come in addition. So she use it and I bring it back. She always She said she wanna bring it back right away. Alright, now what did you want to talk about? So um Kevin behaving at her back in words. Kevin know. is coming in and talking every time he wants to come in. I noticed that since you started working, mm -hmm. the shift in the night, and you come in at two in the morning, Kevin come in this house just before you, like he working too. And you're not asking me what he's been doing? I asked him, but um, he don't ever, you know, he's all brush me off. He don't take me seriously. Well, he's always been laying with so late in the night. That's what I wanted. That's why I'm worried and concerned as I'm talking to you. Well, we need to talk. We need to have a meeting with these kids. We need to talk to them. Definitely, because I think that um, he should see his behavior and she can start following him. All right. I think he should probably see Well, let me call. Let me get him in the living room and we can um, have a sit down with them. All right. Kevin? Keisha? Kevin, what's in the game on last night? Hmm? What's your tired? Can you wake up properly? What's in the game on last night, boy? Um, what time is my game on last night? You came home at one something last night. Kevin, where were you so late on the road? We were doing the road the hour, oh, kitchen bus. My class is over late. How many class finished? What did you class finish last time? Kevin, what's in the game? I think it's. You think? What did you class finish last night? I just wake up, you know. Because you went home, because you go home with this, what was what, 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 what it going last night? That's why you can't wake up. Something, so you can't wake up. It was 10 o'clock and you can't wake up. Kevin, the Bible said, Only your mother and father, your days will be long upon the earth. Do you have a death wish? Alright. Kevin, yes, I don't want you coming in this house after 10 o'clock, alright? Okay, and it goes to both of you. You need to set a good example for your little sister. My name? Who ever happened to wrap it? Make sure she'll be back, my sugar. I'm going back. I'm going to get out of the dark. No, I'm going to block you. Marcy, you can't put this thing in a bag? I didn't add none, man. It's... Yeah, I'm as loud as what's going on. What do you mean, what's going on, Marcy? So, I would like to go to my friend birthday party. Friend birthday party? Yeah, that's my friend Fish. was coming, man. You can't remember Fish. Fish birthday is Saturday. I don't know. That's right. Yes. You know of any party? Excuse me, Marcy. Oh, you know, this girl tell you about any party? No. You talking about the party? It's your party. You know, it's your party it's every year. I... Oh. Ryan, I don't know about that. I... I don't want to live I know it's your party. party is every year. Man, I, I, listen, I, I... I don't think you should go to this party. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with it. You need, I don't, I don't hold on, hold on, hold on. We mean, you know, you don't think this girl should go to this party. This girl of age, I like this girl from Spain. This is my home. Listen to me. This is my house. Alright? She, she lives on the, my roof. She follows my rules. And I believe she is not old enough to be going to any party. She has exams to study for. Marcy, you are going somewhere? You see, this is why she can't See you, son? And you ask but I just don't able these two ungrateful. Um, just imagine last week. But, no light up. Just imagine last week. Yeah, I didn't even know teeth went. Yeah, yeah, and it's ironing out. Yeah, I couldn't even send hunks. I gotta watch. Me don't able this. Let's yeah. go long yeah. Let's go long Let's go long We need to go with this girl. Oh, Marcy, you're not going to go with me. Marcy, you're not going to go with me. Marcy, you're not going to go with Oh, Kishon, 
You know what's wrong, yeah? You're supposed to be there. You're supposed to be in your bed. Why are you sick? Don't tell me when to the party that I can't. Of course, I can't do this to Tisha. I need to go to the party. But we had a meeting. Dora, this man here with that thing and this thing, too. So, wait about it. I can't stay out. What time is this party? No. That's for me here. I'm taking all the day with money. Uh, I got better than money. I don't get 5,000. You can't talk in I want to go to this house and some time to you. By this old cycle, it's now shut up. Desiree! Come, girl, come. Oh, Lord, oh. Oh! You know, Kishi is nice. out. Oh. If you know, I'm just here. Kishi's not in here. Kishi just in an accident. Which Kisha? Which Kisha talking about? That's your daughter? Yes, she's not in here. I just got She is in this house. Kisha's well, sleeping. You, you go and check. Go and check. I'm it. telling you, I just got the news. Oh my, oh my god. god, where is Kisha? Oh my god. Where is Brian? Brian? Where is Kevin? Kevin! What's you know Kisha in his house? Me, Keisha. Ryan, Keisha's not in the I house. I just got the Ryan, news. Keisha was in an accident. Keisha's out of this house. Maybe she's out of the house. Where's she at? Oh my god. Oh, Kevin. Where is, where is she said? Where is Keisha? I saw her last night, Mom. Alright, I was there in the morning time. We mean you didn't see her last night. Where, where, is, where is the accident? Oh my god. I just got it from here from my friend Kissing Pictures. This is on the highway? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna get a car. Today, the dome. Hey, I don't know what's Marcy, wrong with them. Marcy, not now. I just hope she's alright. And you, Kevin? Hey, I don't leave. You okay? No children. Look, I go in because y'all in this house again. No, Arnie. She deserves some lashes. You cannot tell us how to run this house. You always coming over here trying to tell us how to run this house. Let me tell you something. My husband is a lover, not a fighter. Okay, we will handle things how we want to. Now you watch later. Is that she is telling me to send you to the party? You know, right? I tell you about these neighbors. Oh my gosh, you can't listen to nobody. And how to run the house, honestly. And Keisha, I hope you are Marcy. What happens when you disobey? You thought I only had a conversation with y'all yesterday morning. Now look where we are. And today is Father's Day. Okay. I don't even know if y'all remember that. Children, and I'm really, really sorry. Happy Father's Day. I'm sorry, Leader should have been more responsible. I should have been more. Come on, hug your father. Come on, hug your father. I love y'all. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Good Yeah. 